it does take a toll being a progressive Christian and having other Christians telling me I'm not a real Christian and it's like, okay, I get it. You don't have to agree with me. But also like the reasons that are always given never make any sense. And it's like, okay, can we go to the core of Christianity, right? There's God, we believe in God. And then there's Jesus and Jesus is also God. And then Jesus died and he's our savior. So you accept him as your savior and you're a Christian, right? Right. But the problem with progressive Christianity is that it strips away the foundation for how we know those things. You look to the Bible, right? We understand the Bible. We can read the Bible. We can jo read John 3. 16. We know the gospel. We understand it. That's great. But when people begin to read it and say, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if that's really what God wants us to believe. If the Bible's really not the word of God. When you start uh, t hitting shots, taking shots at the word of God, the foundation, now all of a sudden you're putting cracks into actually how we know the gospel. What's to say that if you believe, oh man, a lot of these things aren't valid within the Bible, why would the gospel be valid? Why were Jesus' words valid. Unfortunately, progressive Christianity has been one stepping stone to lead people towards either atheism or straight up heresy. My encouragement to you is stop injecting things into the scriptures, trying to get them to conform to your life or beliefs, but rather conform your own life to the scriptures. Follow for more Christ-centered content and help support this ministry on Patreon.